It is a problem that could lead to a bigger public safety issue. The Kern Law Enforcement Association says sheriff's deputies are leaving at a record rate. So the organization has started a petition to find a solution. 17's Karen Law explains how it wants you to get involved. You may remember this past November, Measure I proposed a one cent sales tax increase for the county, but it did not pass, leaving the sheriff's office, in the association's words, broke. A growing crime rate and a public safety crisis. That's the state of our county, according to the Kern Law Enforcement Association. This problem needs to be fixed because it's going to get bigger. Association President Richard Anderson says the department has lost 30 deputies this year and they're on pace to lose another 30 by the end of this year. A record rate. We're actually lowering our standards to hire, to try to get more people in the process. It's a vicious cycle. Staff shortages mean many current deputies consider themselves overworked and underpaid. Many are flocking to other counties with better pay and benefits. I don't know very many people who don't have applications into other law enforcement agencies, myself included. And he says it'll cost you, the taxpayer. I mean, on a low end, it costs about $200,000 to replace a deputy. The association solution? I would like to, the board to come up with a solution, either a one cent sales tax, half cent sales tax, something to fund our department so we can stop people leaving. But it's a catch-22. The association has started a petition to raise this problem to the Board of Supervisors. But the Board of Supervisors needs voters to approve any sales tax increase, which they already attempted and failed last November with Measure I. That was Karen Wong reporting. The county did not respond to our repeated requests for comment, but the association is urging people to call their supervisors, urging them to see this petition. Right now, the petition, petition has a goal of 1,000 signatures. We've posted a link to that petition on our website, kget.com.